Hi, this is Shiva Rajaya from VitalCoaching.com. We are talking about tantric sex and Matt, who is holding the camera over here, you, you've got a question for me, right? Yeah, I, uh, as a Westerner, a lot of these ideas make a lot of sense to me. Um, it's something I really want to explore more, but um, so much of it coming all at once is a little bit overwhelming. Yes. So I'm curious, like, what would you suggest maybe... Um, I, like maybe what's my first step? Your first step. That's a very simple thing I can do. To exactly. Really jump into this world. Simplify it for you. So the the you know if we summarize that question is how or where to get started with tantric sex because you are seeing all these videos, you are reading books, and then you go like, okay, where do I start? And where you start is very, very simple. It means that once you have all this information, it's a little bit like going into the kitchen and wanting to prepare a dish. So you've got some ingredients there and then you start preparing something, sometimes because you're following the, some, some recipe, but sometimes it's just a spontaneous flow that guides you. So the thing to understand about tantric sex, it is that it is an art, okay? It's not a rational, linear way of thinking where you bring in ingredients. What I'm giving you here are possible ingredients that are going to uh, you know, invest into your, your love making, into the connections that you have with women. But basically, it's, it, it is an art. So, the place where to start is very simple. The first, you know, one of the first places is how is to master or understand more about your own sexual energy. So, it is having what I would call a vital sex workout. You do that daily, 10, 15 minutes, where you are moving and learning how to run energy through your system. So this is very important because it's going to liberate energies inside of you. So I'm going to have a whole set of videos where I teach you these techniques as well. But for now, just remember, it is internally, it is activating that flow inside of you. That's the first place where you can start experimenting. The second place where you can start experimenting is in any interaction that you have with any woman. Whether you are sexually interested in that person or not, it is understand and start playing with the dynamics of what's happening there. And you focus on just one goal one simple goal is create deep meaningful connection with that person that's it you you meet somebody and you go like how can i create a deep bonded connection with that person and you will see that sometimes it brings you to sex it brings you to coupling with that person it brings you to create a deep chemistry with her and that's fine you know but very often it's just like you've got something or somebody in front of you right there how can you simply bond with that person? What is going to create that bond in this experience? And sometimes it's engaging into an energetic practice, like you might slow down and you might look into her eyes and be like, wow, I really like your energy. And she goes like, wow, this is the sweetest thing I heard today. That's it. You've got a moment of chemistry. And then you go like, oh, there is, is it okay if I hold your hand? You know, and then you hold hands and then you start engaging, you do something where there is a little bit of sensual touch. And then from there, you know, it might uh, start expanding into something that becomes deeper and deeper. But the idea is very simple. It's like, how do you learn how to swim? Well, the first thing you have to find a beach, <laughs> you know, somewhere, and then you have to test the waters a little bit, see if it's safe. And then you enter into the water and then you start moving. And so, you see, it's like if you read books about swimming or you watch lots of videos about swimming, that might help you a little bit understand the pitfalls and how not to, <laughs> how not to die in the process. But basically, this is the idea. Like the videos that you're watching right now, it's great. And then what you need to do is practice, start engaging into practice and don't mentalize things too much, you know, but expose yourself to the possibility of learning in the field because it's all about practice and it's all about playing. It's all about engaging. You see, I hope that makes sense. It's really the idea of there are two fields where you can experiment is in, in your own relationship with your own sexual energy and then in the relationship with, that you have with uh, the feminine energy in general in your life. Makes sense, right? I'll see you soon for another video.